My name is Fari Alverdock. Today we're getting into the history of Kelly Park and the reason why it was a sentimental place for me growing up in the Midwood area, located here in Brooklyn, New York. I've been coming here since I was about four, three to four years old. Of course, at the time I would be coming with my mother. Since 2002, this has been a place of recreational activities, a hangout spot. It meant a lot. This is where we used to see all the grandpas and grandmas. They would sit down at the chess tables located by the bathrooms, mostly in the middle of the park. They used to play chess, hang out. It was a good social activity for the elderly. They used to get out of their houses. I'm not sure how it was during COVID era, but before that it was very live. It was a nice place for the elderly to come. It was like a recreational day center. Interesting fact is that in the middle of Kelly Park, Big Kelly, we have a monument for William E. Kelly, who was a renowned public figure, I guess, in the Midwood area. However, at the time when we were growing up, we would always think that it was a, a tombstone and that someone was buried underneath it because behind the, patch of, behind the monument is a patch of grass that was always perfectly kept. So we always thought that someone was buried there, but I guess as you grow up, you start learning that not everything's as scary as it seems. So with the way that I'm looking at the project now, it's actually really interesting because in our community in Midwood, we don't really get, uh, we don't really get renovations like this at all. So I'm actually really, I'm happy to see it. I'm kind of sad that it's changing, but it's interesting how much funding we receive to get something like this. I mean, the funding at least has to be $10 million because the whole park is getting demolished and then put back together. So it's, it's nice seeing our part of Brooklyn finally get something like this, because usually when they think about Brooklyn, people from outside, they always think about downtown Brooklyn, Cobble Hill, uh, Brooklyn Heights. However, this part of Brooklyn, in my opinion, is more beautiful and more calm. So it's really nice to see that we finally got some funding. And for the future generations, I hope they appreciate it and they use it to its fullest potential and they don't stay home and play with their iPads all day. The park itself, to me, honestly, it really shaped the way I would grow up. It really helped me communicate more. If it wasn't for the park, to be honest, I probably would have been home all the time. I would have never been outside. I really appreciate the park for all the things that it's done, all the community, all the connections that I've made as a child, all the fun times I've had, the times where I would walk with my mom to the park. Even she would be able to get outside just to bring me to the park. So the park is just, Kelly Park is just different. It definitely holds a special place in my heart. 